Uh, hello guys today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically we can convert the webcam captured image to base 64 code here inside the javascript application so this is the basically a simple application we have this web camera live field going on here we have called the capture button so if i click this button a picture will be taken here and you will see it will show you the base 64 string of an image so every string every image guys this is you can you just it will give you this string here if you open this go to this you will see this is the actual image address so every image has a base 64 url guys so we will now be able to convert this so every time if you click the capture button you will now see it will automatically change the base 64 code will change here automatically it will generate all these images you will see at the right hand at the bottom side you can copy this code and uh, this code is really required in most of the applications base 64 code of the image you have also seen many converters out there such as which allows you to convert a local image to a base 64 so we will try to build out basically through web camera so you can take the picture from web camera by this button and automatically this will generate the base 64 code for you so i have given all the source code in the description of this video guys this is a full source code i have given for this application so if you want the full source code go to the description of this video and step by step instruction is given so now let's get started so we will simply make an index.html file here and here you just need to change the title to webcam image to base 64 code so right here guys basically we will now be initializing the html here so inside the html we will have a div which will have an id of container and inside this we will have a basically a video tag so inside this video tag guys we will have a width of 200 and a height of also 200 and the video will auto play like this so this is a video tag and after this guys we will have a simple capture button and we will also need to give it an id to this video element so that we can target in javascript so after this we will simply have a button of capture so whenever you click this button a picture will be taken and uh, we will be initializing a function whenever you click this button this capture function will execute so after this button we will have two break tags and then basically we will be having a canvas element guys so here we will be displaying the actual captured image inside this canvas so basically we will have a simple style here which is overflow auto auto that's it so just close this canvas tag and that's it after this basically we will be showing our result which is the image base 64 code so we will be displaying it inside a paragraph we will be giving an id to it of print result like this so now if you open this your application in browser guys you will see this is a button of capture and this is the result which will be shown so now we just need to write our javascript code here so we will simply put a script tag here and we will try to basically build out this application so right here we will have a video tag here so here we will be initializing our query selector here we will be using the id which we have given which is to the video element which is video and we will make use of the navigator api guys so media devices so this will actually be used to get access to the web camera of the browser and here we will be using inside this navigator media devices get user media and inside this takes to two options either you can even include the video option to be true and audio to also true but we will not pass the audio so this returns a promise guys basically if you see we can write the done statement and this will have the st stream object and inside this we can attach to the video source video source object to stream so what you will see if i do this here and if i now reload this application so what you will see you can see my web camera feed is showing here now i just need to click the capture buttons to take the screenshot and to do this process we will simply write a function which we have configured to the button which is capture so this will actually take the screenshot 
we will first of all get the reference of the canvas and we will also get the reference of the video element as well so like this so after this guys there contains basically a method which draw image so first of all we need to set the width of the browser to 12 or 200 or canvas height this can be changed to any value of your choice and then we can use the context get context 2d and we can use a method called as draw image to actually draw the image on the canvas so here we will pass the video and this x coordinate y coordinate and uh, width and the height so width will be 200 height will be 200 and now comes the very important step guys we just need to basically get the base 64 url so if you just open this now and if i click capture the image will be taken you will see that now we need to get the base 64 code of this image that you see right here so we will use a method called as canvas to data url which will actually return this value so if you see uh, now we just need to init initialize it to the area so print result you will manipulate the inner html of it and here you will initialize canvas and this contains a method which is called as to data url that's it so this returns the basically the base64 code of the image guys so this is the method here which is available inside javascript so now if you open this now if i click capture you will see that this is the base64 code as this is a png you will see that you can see that so every time if i click this base64 code changes so it is unique for every image so automatically some random code is generated so this is basically your base64 if you open this in the browser you will see the same image will be shown here so this is used extensively in order to basically embed images using base64 code so you can simply encode your image inside a random code so in this way you can do this process so thank you very much for watching this video and all the source code will be there inside the description of this video and i will be seeing you in the next one